All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to suspend above your hook a soft rubber bead in a way that it's held nice and solid and in a way that's not visible to the fish or really anybody else for that matter that looks at your hook. So stay tuned and we'll get into it. What we're gonna use here, I've got some little plastic beads it's a very small bead, it's a four millimeter bead. Use a pair of scissors. This is a skin punch. It's called a dermal punch. The size we're gonna use is a 1.5 millimeter. Of course, whatever your favorite rubber egg is that you wanna suspend, this is a, a otter soft egg is that I'm going to be using today. And of course I have a a hook that I've snelled it has a bait loop on it as well. I won't get into how to do that on this video. Anyway, so let's get going here. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Now, I will mention that this method works on every rubber egg I've ever tried, except for Potsky's fire eggs. Those eggs, for whatever reason, I can't cut them with anything. I have to melt a hole in them with a hot needle. But for everything else, this method will work. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm gonna cut one of these eggs off of my string of eggs. Put those aside. So this soft rubber egg doesn't have any holes or anything in it. So I'm going to make a hole in this egg with my dermal punch. The way I do that is I will wet my dermal punch with some saliva and I'm going to just put it here and just twist it a few times and I'm gonna start that dermal punch in there and I'm gonna punch a hole into this egg with my dermal punch that goes about halfway in, no more than halfway. And then I turn the egg sideways and twist the punch and it'll cut that little plug out and I just pull that plug out. Okay, so what that essentially has done, I don't know if you can see that, but it's a small hole that I've put into the bead. Okay, now I'm going to get the end of my leader. Well, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my little four millimeter bead on my line, let that slide down. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut the end of my leader at an angle so it's kind of makes a point, so it's a little bit sharp. And then I like to wet it and I'll put that sharp end into that hole that I've made into my bead and just twist it back and forth, and that'll pop the line out the back side of your bead. Okay, so now the bead's on the line, and we just slide it down onto there. Now there's one other thing we use, forgot to mention in the very beginning. This is the head off of a silicone basting brush had a handle on it and I just pulled the handle off and pitched it into the garbage. I buy these at the Dollar Tree for a buck. But this silicone brush has a whole bunch of those little items on there that we're gonna use now. So I'm just gonna cut one of those off with my scissors. Okay. And then what I do is I take one of these Griffin threading tools and I'm going to thread this up through the hole in my bead. Okay, so I have my hook, my bead, my hard bead, it's a four millimeter bead, and then my rubber bead. I take this silicone part and I put the small end, it's tapered from large to small, I'm gonna put the small end just barely into my threading device. I'm gonna wet that, I'm gonna wet my bead, and then I'm going to pull this, and ever so gently, I'm going to pull that silicone through my bead. If you do it very slowly, ever so slowly, you'll work that through. So you can see, I have that silicone through my bead. Now I'm just going to grab the silicone and hold it tight and slide the bead up towards the fat end. 
and you'll get it there where it's super tight. Okay, so you can see that I've got a piece on each side and I'm gonna take my scissors and very carefully without cutting or nicking my line, I'm gonna cut that silicone insert out on both sides. Okay, so I have the bead now with the silicone insert. And if I wet that, I'll pull my rubber bead down. Now this is a four millimeter bead and I've cut a one and a half millimeter hole in it. But if you wet that down, you can just pop that inside of your bead and it's out of sight. That does two things. That'll hold your bead in place very snugly. It takes some effort to move that bead up and down your line, but it holds it very well. That hole also gives you a spot that you can put some scent on there if you want and put some, you know, shrimp or whatever you want on there for scent. But anyway, there it is. That's suspended above my hook. Works very well for steelhead, works well for salmon. I mean, obviously this is, I've rigged it for steelhead. It's got a number four hook on it. If I was fishing for salmon, it would be a lot bigger hook. But anyway, it works very well. The best method I've came up with, um, you can hide that bead in there. It works very well. The beauty of it is if you use a toothpick, which is what a lot of people suspend their beads with, once that toothpick gets wet and it dries out, it'll shrink and fall out and you have to put a new toothpick in. I can go fish with this day after day as long as my bead's in good shape and I don't ever have to replace that silicone insert. I prefer to fish a soft bead, not a hard bead. But I think this is a much more natural uh, presentation. Of, I've seen fish hang on to these because they're soft versus a hard bead, hard plastic or a glass bead. They'll grab that and instantly let go of it. So I've seen this work for hooking fish a lot better. Anyway, that's the process. I uh, hope you liked it. hope you learned something from it. If you did, you know the drill. That old thumbs up and a subscribe. I'll have some other videos coming out down the road, but appreciate you watching. Thanks a bunch.